Hey y'all, it's Wendy at Hardneck Farms, and I have been invited to do Noodle November with Tony at Kettle Kitchen. I'm so excited. We have been having issues at our house with uh, the stove. It doesn't work. It only cooks on extremely high, and it's just been a nightmare. So anyway, my friend let me use her kitchen. So I wanted to uh, show you all the ingredients that I will be using today. And this is roasted garlic. I roasted ahead of time. And artichoke hearts from Trader Joe's, sea salt for the water when I cook the pasta. I'm gonna be chopping up all the olives. And then, so it's gonna be an Italian dish with lots of olives. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this because it's such a good, um, I don't like a lot of sauces, so this has a really good flavor, can add some, or we could do without that. Going to be using sun-dried tomatoes because I am out of my sun-dried tomatoes at my house, but this is a really good brand. And then I'm going to be using the Jovial gluten-free fusilli pasta. Now I will go ahead and cook this up. And then I'm going to come and chop up all the different olives on the cutting board and then put them in a dish. And then I will come back in a little while when I get all that done and we will put the meal together. And this is so exciting. I'm so excited to do another collab with Tony at Kettle Kitchen. I did the um, Last Chance Cook-Off. So I had a great time, met some new friends, new people, and I... We'll jump at every chance to do all the collaborations with them. It's just so much fun. You make a lot of neat friends. And you get all kinds of neat, cool recipes. And so, here is all the ingredients I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and use a store-bought oregano. Um, I didn't have time to dry oregano this year. And I did have basil dried, but I could not find it this morning. And because I've got all kinds of stuff packed up, so I'm going to just use some fresh ground pepper. And we're going to use the store-bought and call it good. Now, at the end, if I was at the house, I could just throw on some fresh basil at the top. Because we do have some growing in the greenhouse. But anyhow, I'm going to do the best I could do. And um, I brought some of my kitchen tools and... Um, I'm so thankful to my friend Tanya. She's one of my friends I go have coffee with, and we have been just friends since I moved here. My daughter actually introduced me to her. <laughs> She's so cute. But anyhow, back to this video. Um, I am very thankful for her to let me use her kitchen for this. So anyway, I will talk to y'all here in a little bit. I'll get to chopping. Okay, I am back, Wendy at Hardneck Farms, and this is the part where the pasta is done. And this is the facility, gluten-free, jovial pasta. And this is two boxes because I'm doing enough for four. And then I will grate the cheese over the top. We're going to go ahead and sear it in the pan. And we're going to just mesh all these beautiful ingredients. This is artichoke. Kalamata olives, regular green olives, black olives, some sun-dried tomatoes, some fresh roasted garlic, and then we will put that uh, violi plant-based parmesan on the top. Now we are going to go ahead and add a little bit of this, and I don't normally use sauces. I've never found one that I like, any kind of marinades or any of that. But I do like this. It is a pizza sauce. However, the flavor in this is so incredible. It just reminds me of Italian. And so I have used it in pasta, pasta dishes along with pizza dishes. So uh, it's pretty versatile. And since I didn't get any tomatoes this year and make my own, this is how I'm going to have to roll this year. So here we go. This I got this at Whole Foods. And now I'm going to just take the ingredients over and get them into the pan. This can be tricky because I'm not used to doing cooking videos. So I'm going to just set this down as I put everything in. And uh, we'll make this work, y'all. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Here we go. 
Let's set it on the box of pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pan hot. And she's got this gas cookware, which cook stove, which is incredible. This is what I had at my old house. I love cooking with gas heat. It just cooks so much faster, so much better. It, it just the flavors are incredible. Okay, guys. Coming over there with this. It's going to be heavy. I don't want to mess up her beautiful kitchen. So I'm going to just drop this stuff in as careful as I can go. Without making a huge mess. And I, I roast my garlic ahead of time. And that way it's on hand. So I roast probably two to four heads of garlic a week. Then when they cool, I put them in the bag, like a Ziploc bag, keep it in the fridge. And then when I need some fresh garlic, fresh roasted garlic, then I just pull that out and use a few cloves at a time. It's handy dandy, just kind of a little tip if you use a lot of garlic. It's also ready to go if you have soups. So if you're a working mom, a working man, you come home, want to have a little bit faster meal, that's just a little kitchen tip for you. Come back and wash that later. I'm going to go ahead and add this. See how. I'm assuming it's going to. We'll just use that whole jar because it's pretty big. It's two boxes of the pasta. And get this cooking. And then we'll add the pasta last, and then the cheese. And this is an Italian, just an olive recipe. It's absolutely delicious. Everything paired together, just the flavors are off the chart. I don't know if you can see that. Isn't that just a pretty dish? I guess if you wanted to do some onions, you could. This dish doesn't need any. It's off the charts good. So another tip that I will share with you, I am really sensitive to onions. And so when I chop onions, I will cry. And my eyes will water and burn. And so it just was such a mess. And I had somebody... Give me a tip that if you are, oop, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. So if you are sensitive to onions, when you're cutting your onion, if you will put your board down where you cut your onions and you have a fan blowing, it'll blow that um, onion smell away from you and you can stand over it and chop the onions and it will not burn your eyes. Just a little tip there. I am like lost without a stove. Even our convection on the oven went out. So it's kind of, it's hard to do much. It's hard to make breads and things because the convection is so nice. So I'm letting that heat up. Go ahead and turn that up a little bit more. And I absolutely love gas cooking. But since we're building a house and we're gonna go with the induction cook stove, um, we just aren't gonna buy one until we get our house done. It just wouldn't make sense. And then too, you know, we wanna make sure we get what we want. That wouldn't fit in the kitchen I have now. And my kitchen's so tiny, I absolutely just hate it. <laughs> so I was so thankful my friend let me use her kitchen. Look how pretty this is. Look at that. Doesn't that just look delicious? Actually, also, you can make this ahead of time, and you can have this in a dish. And then when you get home, and you also can do your pasta ahead of time, have that in a bag or a bowl in your fridge. You just pop it out, heat it up, and throw it all together. There we go.
Now I'm going to go ahead and add the pasta. Okay, guys. Oh, and it smells so good. And then if you roast your garlic ahead of time, you don't have to worry about burning your garlic. I know a lot of people complain about that. Like when they go to um, saute garlic, if their skillet's too hot, they will burn it. And then it just doesn't taste as good. So there are some ideas. And the roasted garlic is just such a better flavor. And your house will smell delicious too. I'm just going to stir that up see how that goes. Oop. Then we'll add the fresh ground pepper and the cheese. Oh my gosh, isn't that just gorgeous? So my father was Italian, so I have a heart for Italian food. It has just always been my favorite. My dad did all the cooking. Well, not all of it, but a lot of the cooking when I was growing up. And my mom liked to cook. And they liked to cook together, so it was kind of cool. My dad could really cook. And he never used recipes, so I don't either. Um, and I know with these collabs, you, you need a recipe. Just use the whole jar if you're doing a big batch. If you're not, I would just split it in half. This alone doesn't need any, any extra flavors or spices, but I'm a girl that likes oregano, so I'm going to add a little bit of crushed oregano. And of course, it's a store-bought one. Hopefully next year I'll get it together and use that big solar dehydrator and dehydrate all kinds of spices. So that may be just enough right there. Look at that. Yum. God, that's just gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and add the oregano so it can just have that smell while it's cooking. It's a pretty big dish, so I'm going to add a little, quite a bit. Go ahead and just ground some fresh pepper. Pepper's so good for you. I'm going to turn that down. Going the wrong way. Turn that down a little bit. Kind of stir that a little bit. Kind of move that oregano around. And then while it's in the pan and still warm, I'm going to do that Parmesan. And I always like to grate my own Parmesan. And this plant-based Veolite Parmesan is incredible. Just using my little KitchenAid. I broke the corner of it, but... Hey, it's still good. It still works. Ooh, I just broke it. And I forgot to mention, I did wash my hands. My friend saw me. <laughs> I have accountability here. Since this is quite a bit of pasta, I'm putting in quite a bit. Once I mix it up, it won't, won't seem like a lot, but if you're like me, come from an Italian family, you like your farm. And I'm so thankful they've come up with a lot of these really good plant-based cheeses. Now, not all plant-based cheeses are the same. A lot of them are nasty. The ones that I like, I found at Whole Foods, and I will have to do a video sometime about the brands I like. 
There we go. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It's going to taste so good. Nice, delicious lunch. Dinner. And it's healthy. All of this is healthy. There's no oil. And you're going to get a little bit of salt in that pasta since I didn't, the pasta, or the pizza sauce, I should say. It's not pasta sauce, but it is in my dish. So anyway, you will, this is just totally oil-free, salt-free, except for what's in that jarred pizza sauce. And then it's healthy. Now, a lot of olives are cooked, or I mean brined in salt, so that's something I can't control, but... Here we go. And it is ready to serve. And this is just a basic olive artichoke sun-dried tomato pasta. It's an Italian dish. You can add onion, you can add capers, and you can add um, mushrooms if you want. But I'm telling you right now that this right here is the star. Everything in this dish, the flavors really mesh well together and it's delicious. So let me get this plated and we will talk to y'all in a little bit. Here we go. Yum. It's all plated. All right, y'all. It's Noodle November and it's windy at Hardneck Farms. Now make sure you guys watch everybody in the playlist, make a comment, and Tony at Kettle Kitchen will be doing a prize drawing live in December. I forgot the date. <laughs> I'll put it in the link below. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.